developmental courses can be challenging for some, but it's important that you master these courses because they build on principles that pave the way for the rest of your academic career. We realize that when students come in, they ask the question, why do I have to take this developmental course? Does that mean then that that person should say that, okay, well, I just cannot do math? No, it could mean that maybe the student may have finished high school 5, 10, 15, 20 years ago. Or it could be that, okay, well, that particular student or individual is not a very good test taker. The past courses are set aside to help those students overcome those stigmatisms. Developmental means exactly what it says. It helps you to develop your skills that you need that are necessary. So if you need to take the developmental courses, take it, look at it as being a plus because it is something designed to help you as an individual cover those simple things, those simple trouble spots that you have been faced with when you were in high school. The only way you can pass a particular module is by taking a course pre-test or the test. If you pass that test, you then move into the next mini mod. If you accelerate fast enough during one semester, it's very possible that uh, you can do two, maybe two and a half courses. Say you can't get through all the modules. If you receive credit for modules um, within the semester and you don't finish the course, you can pick up where you left off the next semester meaning you don't lose any credit that you've already received. This is a new approach in that it is designed for um, individualized study plans and acceleration at the same time. Um, it's not a traditional classroom setup. There is individual attention to students. There are embedded tutors. Our goal is that students who enter and complete the PASS program will be more prepared for college um, level work than students who come straight into credit courses. Students in the PASS program are there right out of high school. They're coming back from years um, in, in the workforce. They're uh, students who aren't fresh out of high school. We have non-traditional. It's just it's a big conglomerate of different kinds of people. There's no one student that you can point out and say, oh, I bet that person's in PASS. This have been 20 some years since I've been in school. <laughs> so it actually was just enough to give me like the refresher that I needed. I was telling Dr. K, I told her, I said, I'm gonna be your worst nightmare. I said, because if I don't get it, I'm gonna hunt you down. I said, I need to get this. You just have to get help. If you don't understand, you, you need to get help. I think it's a really efficient way to get to, through your courses, because it really helps you, especially because if you fail something or you don't finish it, you don't want to start all over because it also takes up time, especially if you have your academic planned out. When you don't finish, you can just pick up where you left off and then you can start moving at your own pace so it doesn't rush you either so you have time to like really get it. If you're nervous about going to pass English, I mean I understand it's English, no one wants to do it, but once you get into the program, you'll learn to like love it. My favorite part about the past is your instructor. They are always there for you no matter what and they're really great teachers and they'll guide you through everything. So just leave your nerves at home. <laughs> Listen, college is hard work. However, if you're committed, then we're committed because your success is our success.